Hi, I'm Kirk from WP Apprentice, and WordPress version 4.9.6 has just been released. This is an unusual WordPress release. In this briefing, I will explain why it's so unusual, and I'll give you a preview of the new features you need to be aware of. So to understand why this is such an unusual WordPress release, you need to understand a little bit about the WordPress version numbering system. Uh, I typically only do these briefings for major new releases because major new releases have new features, and maintenance releases just fix bugs. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Version 4.9 was the last major release. That was a new version of WordPress with new features. And then all these other versions have come out since version 4.9, and each one of these has been a maintenance release with some bug fixes. These maintenance releases are not supposed to have any new features at all. They are just supposed to fix bugs. And then when the next version comes out, version 5.0 in this case, that's the version that will have new features. There's also a difference in how these versions are installed. So a major version has to be installed manually. You need to proactively go in and tell WordPress you want to update to the newest version. The minor versions are installed automatically. And the reason for that is because the minor versions are typically fixing security problems and WordPress wants to patch as many WordPress websites as possible when a new security problem is found, and typically they push those out, like, right away. So when a minor version comes out, you're pretty sure that unless you've taken some action to prevent those from being installed automatically, your WordPress site is going to update itself as soon as that new minor version is available. WordPress 4.9.6 breaks all of those rules. It's a maintenance release that includes new features and it will be installed automatically, which means it's probably on your website right now. Now, why is this? Why were new features added to WordPress 4.9.6? There are a couple of reasons. You've probably heard me talk about Gutenberg in the past. This is the new WordPress editor that I've mentioned a couple of times in previous lessons. Uh, it's a major change to how we create content in WordPress. It's coming very, very soon. Uh, and someone really, really wants it to be in WordPress 5.0. 5.0 has kind of been designated as the Gutenberg release. Uh, separately, there's this other really big thing happening. It's actually bigger than Gutenberg. It's called GDPR. It's the General Data Privacy Regulation. It's a major new data privacy law that goes into effect on May 25th, 2018. Gutenberg will not be ready by May 25th, so WordPress needs to push out some new features that allow website owners to be compliant with GDPR. And for that reason, they have put those new features in version 4.9.6, meaning everyone with a 4.9 dot whatever website is automatically going to be updated to this new version and get those GDPR features. So let's take a look at those GDPR features. Uh, there are three that have been added. One is the ability to export user data. One is the ability to delete user data. And one is the generation of a privacy policy template. I'm not going to go into details about the GDPR. We could be here for weeks or months talking about the nuance of GDPR. It's a very complicated regulation. Uh, this is just kind of like the bare minimum that you would need to be able to do with a minimal WordPress website. And I'll talk a little bit towards the end of the video about why this set of features does not automatically make your website GDPR compliant. Uh, however, it will be an essential piece for those of you who need to comply with GDPR. So let's jump into WordPress and take a look at these new features. So running WordPress 4.9.6, you will find a couple of these new features under Tools. Uh, this is the export personal data screen. Uh, basically, the way this works is you have users who have accounts on your WordPress website, presumably. Uh, otherwise, there would be no reason to make a data request. Uh, someone tells you they want to see what data you have recorded on them. You enter their email address that's registered with your account into this field, and then you click the Send Request button. And that will send a verification email to the person, and from there they can click the confirmation link, very much like a password reset, and that way you know that it's got to the person who has control of that email account, and then that completes the rest of the process by sending them the data. Uh, and then if they decide that they want you to erase everything that you have on them, 
you would go to the Erase Personal Data screen, and it's a similar process. You enter the username or email address, and then click the Send Request button. An email is generated automatically, and then the user will get that in their inbox, and they'll be able to click the link and complete the processing of the erasure of their personal data. So those are pretty simple screens, but they do solve a uh, very important piece of the GDPR puzzle uh, for very simple websites, I will say. Um, there's one other under settings, you have a new privacy menu and the privacy menu option will assist you in creating a privacy page for your WordPress website. Uh, privacy policies are a big part of uh, GDPR. Uh, they're also a big part of uh, other regulations around the world. Uh, for example, if you want to run ads on the Google ad network. Uh, Google requires you to have a current privacy policy on your website. So there are a lot of reasons to have a privacy policy on your website. So this is a nice feature that will automatically generate a template for a privacy policy. And it's important that you understand the difference between a template for a privacy policy and an actual privacy policy. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, you've got the option to either use an existing page to create the template, or you can create a new page. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page here, and I will call it Privacy Policy. Uh, that's the default. And then it fills out um, a template with headers for all of the different sections that you would have to address in your privacy policy. But this is not a completed privacy policy. This is just uh, sort of an outline of a privacy policy. You need to go through and actually edit this document so that it meets the actual policy that you have for your own website. Uh, don't just go with the default privacy policy. You need to actually go through here and understand, read it, understand what it says, and make changes so that it matches your actual business process. So a word of warning, just installing this version of WordPress does not mean that you are automatically GDPR compliant. GDPR is a very complex set of regulations, rules, and guidelines. There's a lot of nuance and room for interpretation. By installing this version of WordPress, you're really just installing one set of features. You may be using other plugins that collect data on your users. Uh, and you may be using third-party services that collect data on your users, uh, particularly things like analytics and marketing tools. And if you've got a mailing list or email marketing service, uh, those are all areas that you're going to have to deal with compliance separately. Uh, when you install this version of WordPress, you're just getting the set of tools that I showed you. So there's a lot of work to do to achieve GDPR compliance. 4.9.6 is like one tiny little piece. But for now, that's what's available in WordPress 4.9.6. Updated tutorials on all of the latest changes are available in the WordPress Essentials course at WPApprentice.com. WordPress Essentials is the best way to stay current with the rapidly changing world of WordPress. Membership includes lifetime access to the WordPress Essentials course videos, which are, of course, updated for each new version of WordPress. Sign up at WP Apprentice today, and we'll see you inside the member area.